regard you know, defamation cases as maybe the, the most important or the most uh, profound cases there are because we only get one reputation and you don't get a second chance once it's destroyed. To have your reputation destroyed is really to ruin everything about you. It ruins you, it ruins your family's view of you, it, it ruins your neighbor's view of you. You go to a party, you don't know who's looking at you sideways because they heard, you know, you're a this or you're a that. It is an extraordinarily difficult thing to live with. And for that reason, when we represent defamation clients, uh, it really is the most profound type case we could be handling. Welcome to the Jacob Halftime Show. I'm Devin Caney coming to you live from Ocean Casino Resort, Gallery, Bar, Book, and Games. This is brought to you by Baquetto and Lentz. I'm joined by Mark Farzetta in Philadelphia. Uh, Mark, we all wanted this team to come out strong, bounce back after a tough Monday night football loss to the Commanders, first loss of the season for the Eagles. Uh, and here they are down seven points to a Jeff Saturday-led Colts, uh, how frustrated are you? Right oh now? wow, that, that sounds all. That sounds like a whole bunch of fun you just laid yeah. out there for me. Uh, this is awful. I mean, I, I didn't think of the two guys that needed a bounce back game. It would be Jonathan Gannon that would be bouncing back and his defense. I mean, Howie Roseman did his job. He got him two stud guys to go in the middle of that defensive line. They have done their job to this point. A little rough start there for the Eagles, no doubt about that. But they have bounced back uh, since that start. The offense has left a lot to be desired, and I don't understand why on the first play of a first and goal from the two-yard line, that ball is not in the hands of Miles Sanders to punch it through that very good offensive line for a touchdown. Uh, of all the play calls in the first half, that's the one I had the, the biggest problem with. And on a third and two, you go to Kenny Gainwell again to try to get to that first down, and that didn't come to fruition, unfortunately. And then the mistake by Jason Kelsey, obviously, in that first first and goal situation, or rather second and goal situation, is a big problem. But uh, overall, I see the Eagles' defense standing pat. And I, you're really going to see a, uh, need to see a lot more from this Eagles' offense in the second half. Yeah, and hopefully we do because it has been frustrating to say the least. Uh, many, many, many missed opportunities throughout that first half. Uh, Mark Rosetta, thank you so much. If you're tuning in, stick around because John McMullen is coming up uh, after this message from our partners, Mark Jewelers. Of course, bring you our diamond debate on the Pond La Hockey post game show after every Eagles game. So here's a message from Mark's Jewelers. Back to the Jacob Halftime Show. Uh, John McMullen joining me live from Lucas Oil Stadium in, in Indianapolis. John, a frustrating first half to say the least. I did see a tweet from you saying one silver lining might be time of possession. Uh, that was, of course, before that first half officially ended. Give me your thoughts. I feel like defense kind of started off rough, and now it's been the offense for the Eagles that has just been excruciating to watch through that first half. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. If you think about it, Devin, they gave up the – 75 yard touchdown drive right away and the total at the end of the half was 148 for indianapolis so they pretty much shut him down defensively after that first drive i thought it was interesting Linball joseph i mean he might play as much as fletcher cox on monday night they've been throwing him out there and he's been very very effectively i, I say that tongue-in-cheek but he's been very very effective uh, done a very good job. Indianapolis having a very difficult time running in those odd, odd man fronts. So that part of it is work. 
Um, the offense has been uneven, no question about it. I mean, if you look at it, they've made some plays. They're able uh, to get some splash plays in the passing game, but really penalties on that one drive, Devin, three in a row, kind of derailed it, five in the first half. I think that's the issue, so that's kind of sharpen up. Clearly, they missed Dallas Goddard. I don't know how you replace Dallas Goddard. That's the problem. We talked about that on the pregame show. That's going to be difficult until hopefully he can get back in the lineup. But I do think they kind of have a beat on Indianapolis from a defensive perspective. Hopefully the offense can can sharpen up a bit in the second half and maybe they get a tougher win than expected. You mentioned the time of possession. Eagles lead 16, uh, 12, just over 16 minutes to just under 14 for Indy. So coming off Monday night, that's a big positive because at least you won't see that weird play differential from offense versus defense. Yeah, uh, offensively, you know, we saw, of course, those penalties, which were super frustrating to watch, uh, a few bad decisions from Jalen Hurts. Um, but in terms of play calling, like Miles Sanders barely saw him, especially in that first quarter. What do we need to see in terms of play calling from Shane Steich and Nick Sirianni in this second half for the Eagles to take uh, the lead here? Well, I would try to run the football with Miles a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't effective. Miles is only at 19 yards on five carries. But that third and, and one, or it might have been uh, a third and two to Kenny Gainwell, yes, that made no up. sense whatsoever. Yeah. Um, sometimes I think they try to get a little bit too cute, a little bit of too many people involved. You know, without Dallas Goddard, you have to lean on Miles Sanders. You have to lean on A.J. Brown. You have to lean on Devontae Smith. You know, don't worry about the Jack Stoles and the Zach Pastels of the world. If the ball comes to him, the ball comes to him. Kenny Gainwell as well. Just, you know, just lean on your star players. I think that's got to be the way the Eagles go. Yeah, well, hopefully they do that uh, in the second half. We shall see. John McMullen, thank you so much. Uh, and if you're tuning in, you can catch John on the Pond the Hockey post game show that starts right as the fourth quarter winds down. I'm Devin Caney coming to you live from Ocean Casino Resort.